Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This video that we're putting out today is going to be a backing track for all those of you that want to learn how to play lead guitar. I'm going to give you some fundamentals to do that. So that way you can practice your scales all over this backing track and learn to become musically inclined. I want to learn. I will be sure to include a timestamp to let you know where the backing track is so you won't have to be listening to this over and over and over. Um, once you get the scales down, if you already passed, you know, the scales and you just need something to jam to, well, you could just fast forward to the backing track and just have at it, you know, all you want. For this backing track here, we're going to go ahead and use the A Aeolian mode. We're going to use the D Dorian mode. And we're going to use the E Phrygian mode. And if you're not familiar with those modes, I will run through them here and point them out. So that way you can basically learn these scales. You can back it up and learn these modes. And then I will kick the backing track in. And you can use these modes over that backing track and learn how to connect these modes together so you can be all over the fretboard. What were the modes again? We're going to go ahead and start off with the A Aeolian. So I'm going to go ahead and put the mic down and show you how to do an A Aeolian, which is a minor mode. I better pay attention. That was the A Aeolian with an extension after the high A. Let's go ahead and go to the Dorian mode now. And um, I'll go ahead and play the Dorian mode real slow so you can catch up to that. I need to rewind it so I can relearn those scales. Okay, that was the Dorian mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and play the E Phrygian. So that was D Dorian. So I'm going to play E Phrygian so you can see how that mode links up here. And then I will show you how to connect them so you never get lost on the fretboard. Hang tight while I do an E Phrygian. That was an E Phrygian. So you can go through these scales as many times as you need to to get yourself familiarized with them. And once you get the Aeolian, I've learned that that's a good place to start when you're doing when you're doing modeling and you're playing around with with some music. Learn how to slide from the Aeolian into your Dorian. And once you can catch your 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 Dorian off of your Aeolian, well then you can play in Dorian, and the Phrygian is just one right under it, so you can catch that one too. So if you were to slide on the G string, which is the third string, and you were to slide one whole step, right there is the top of the Dorian, and you can jump into the Dorian mode right there. So that's how I usually connect from the Aeolian to the Dorian. Once you're in the Dorian, on the bottom side of the Dorian here, on the 12th fret, is your Phrygian, so you can slide on into the Phrygian, and you will never get lost with your playing. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and kick the backing track on and i'm going to go ahead and play just a real quick snippet so i can show you how these modes all go together the chords are going to be b minor 
D minor and A minor, which would be basically kind of a Locrian progression. And you can play the B Locrian over this if you know the B Locrian. But to stay in safe territory, stick with the A Aeolian, the D Dorian, and the E Phrygian, and you won't have a problem. We would like to give our buddy Rodney over at Sweetwater Music a shout out here. Hey Rodney, what's happening man? I hope everything's going good. So, if you haven't bought any musical instruments online and you're thinking about venturing out that way, well I would recommend to use Sweetwater Music. You can find them online. They're a good place to buy musical instruments and they go the extra mile to make sure that you are happy. So, give Rodney a call today and get your musical instruments on the way. Yes, sir. This backing track that we have here, you can find it on our channel, Melody Stallions. This song is called Sea Dragon. We will put a link in the description so you can listen to the actual release that we have of Sea Dragon. We're just going to go ahead and use the rhythm section as a backing track to teach you how to play lead guitar if that's what you're interested yes. in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and kick the beat in. And here it goes. Here's the A. Aeolian. Here's the D. Dorian over the progression when we get back to one. That was the D. Dorian, and now I'm going to play the E. Phrygian. Okay, so now that you got the idea of that, I'm going to show you how to connect an Aeolian to a Dorian, so that way you can learn how to get all over this neck. And if you follow what I'm teaching you here, you'll be, in a matter of a couple, couple months, you will be a phenomenal guitar player, blowing away all the competition and wowing all your friends. So here you go, I'll show you how to do it. And it's going to be a slide on the third string from the seventh fret, third string seventh fret, to the third string ninth fret, which will be the top of the Dorian. I'll show you how you connect the Aeolian, the A Aeolian and the D Dorian. So that basically connected the A Aeolian to the D Dorian. Now I'm going to put the D Dorian over to the Phrygian. Hang tight, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just give it a couple times around the, the ride here, and then I'm going to go ahead and leave the beat kicking on for you, so that way you guys can do your own looping.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the loop now. And I will restart it. And this is where your time counter is going to be. So that way, if you want to do some looping to this and you want to practice the Aeolian, the D Dorian, and the E Phrygian, you will have it all at your fingertips. And you will become a phenomenal, phenomenal player. I'm going to go ahead and make this loop a five minute loop. This thing will basically five to ten minutes, five, seven, ten minutes. So I'm just going to just let the loop play so that way you can loop out for all your looping enjoyment and learn these scales.
Okay, so I just noticed, and I wanted to point it out to the whole world, that I put my shirt on inside out. Who does that? Don't you always put your best forward to try to impress people? I guess I wasn't paying attention, but I hope you learned what you need to learn from this little um, looping track. And go ahead and play it all you want. The looping is free. Have at it. And don't forget to check us out on the Melody Stallions channel, which is this channel. We'll give you the link to that song, Sea Dragon, so you can hear how Melody does the melodies on it.